In order to better understand the origins of personal selling and the evolution of personal selling over time, let's visit a brief history in personal selling. From the beginning, personal selling really began with the bartering of goods and services as the first form of economic trade. In approximately 5000 BC, money in the form of metal coins were introduced. The Industrial Revolution began in approximately 1760, continuing to 1840, and really started differentiating the work of salespeople. Salespeople were often thought of as the ones who exaggerated claims in order to sell goods and services. In 1892, American advertising and sales pioneer, Elmo Lewis, introduced the AIDA model, which stands for Attention, Interest, Desire, Action. This model was applied to many sales situations. In 1916, the first World Salesmanship Congress was held, where salespeople were encouraged to earn the customer's trust. This was the first move in the marketplace to start establishing customer trust among salespeople, with the idea that the customer was important and it was important to establish a trust-based relationship. In 1936, Dale Carnegie introduced the best-selling book titled How to Win Friends and Influence People. This book to today continues to impact the selling profession in a large way. The period of the 1950s and 1960s was really the era of the fast-talking door-to-door salesman. Enthusiastic salespeople came knocking on doors in order to sell products and services. This was a time where salespeople had much to bring to customers, given the limited information about products or services through other channels. Salespeople had powerful messages about features and benefits, which motivated customers to buying situations. The 1970s witnessed the introduction of the spin selling concept by Neil Rackham, which stems out of the work of the Xerox Corporation. The spin sale really introduced the concept of increasing the number of questions and involvement of customers in the selling process. The 1980s witnessed the introduction of the solution selling concept, while the next decade saw the emergence of more relationship-oriented selling, utilizing strategic selling and solution selling. In the time period approaching the 21st century and the dot-com revolution, the customer became more informed and the power shifted from the salesperson to the customer. We are now in the age of the more informed customer, and the challenge in the marketplace is to better understand how to meet customer needs and establish value into the marketplace.